Today, we're going to talk about how to stay organized as an NPD practitioner, whether you have a large office or a small office, how to make the most use of your space. And once I saw the inside of Vanessa Cameron's office, I knew she was the person who needed to come and speak to everyone about how to make the most use of a very small space. So Vanessa, could you lead us through and give us your tips and tricks for organizing your office? Absolutely. So I have a couple of things that I do. One of them is when I moved into this space, which is kind of the smallest office in our suite here, I got a wonderful sit to stand desk, which was great, but I lost all of the storage that I had in a traditional office space. And so everything that used to be on or inside files and storage in my office is now hanging on my wall. And so as you can see, I have them separated out sort of by activity type. Um, I have my NPD file over there for all of my projects here, um, general projects, shared governance and classes that I teach. And so what I do with these as information is coming in, it goes upright. And then as I am done with that task, then I can flip it over so that I know that that task is complete and awesome. I can kind of wipe it from my mind for at least a little while until the next time that I have to do something with it. Sure. Um, one of the other items that I was gifted with my office is this big bookshelf. And so what I did with this, this is all of my education supplies. Let's see if my cord will get close enough for you to see, but they are all labeled with what type of supplies are in there. So I have like my pediatric emergencies, cardiac, respiratory, um, so that that way I can go and find all of my supplies quickly and easily. I have a couple of mannequins down here that didn't really have another home. So they just sit on my box of um, different sizes of Ambu bags. And keep you company. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you took the words I mean, out I of my saw, mouth. Uh, I saw a whiteboard over there that I feel like you need to tell us a little bit about. Yes. So this is my whiteboard and it kind of keeps me organized on a, um, a different level, I guess. So I do have kind of my monthly plan as far as what classes I have coming up or big projects I'm creating. When I have a lot of work that's left to be done on it, then it gets a box. And then again, when I have done that work, it gets checked off so that I know I am fully ready for that activity. So like this month we have trauma simulations coming up. Um, I still have some work I need to do for that. And so hopefully that box will be checked quickly. <laughs> sometime soon. Uh, the other thing that is probably one of my favorite organizational tips um, that really helps me, I feel like, do a good job with my role is whenever I have requests come in, whether it's from frontline staff workers or management from the organization, whatever it might be, a request for education. And so what I do is I do some digging to find out, is it a knowledge, a skill, or an attitude problem? And so then it gets marked down into whatever category it is and um, some crossover. So like pediatric uh, procedural sedation, that's something that we have a knowledge gap. It's a skill people aren't as comfortable with. And because people are nervous about it, there's also this um, attitude or difficulty around it because people are uncomfortable. And so I educate differently depending on what category it's in. So I have different methods for knowledge only, skill only, attitude only. And then usually the more boxes that it checks, the more involved the education is. So for things that hit all three categories, usually that's my indication that oh. I should consider creating a class to go with it rather than um, maybe a tip sheet or including it in a simulation hands-on activity. Wow. I, so, yeah, I have nothing to say, but wow, that's incredible. Um, one other I don't want to point, show her in my office. <laughs> we always talk a lot about um, self-care. So I do, let me see if I can get it down here. I do also have some of uh, my yoga mat and some workout pants so that 
I can put my desk in the full upright position and shove my chair underneath. And then I have enough room to lay my yoga mat out for a few minutes. So that's amazing. <laughs> it really wow. Is. Thank you. How so many, much, how many great Martha. ideas? Oh my word. It's a good Thank use you of so space. much. I definitely recommend using the walls as much as possible. So yes. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us today. And I hope that everybody who's watching gets tons of great tips. I know I have. So um, we will see you next time.